Hi, welcome to Liberty Park Music. I'm Michelle Huang, your piano instructor. In today's lesson, we will learn the three different pedals of the piano, specifically the damper pedal, its function, and how it's used in music. We will also learn the proper technique of pedaling and apply it to some of the pieces we have learned before. If you have an upright piano or a grand piano, you will most likely find three pedals right at your feet. Some upright pianos will only have the right and the left pedals. If you have an electric keyboard or digital piano, you probably only have one pedal, which is the equivalent of the right pedal on a grand piano. Oftentimes, this pedal has to be purchased separately from the actual keyboard. The pedal is then connected to the keyboard with a cable. If you own a digital piano without the system pedal, I would recommend purchasing one as more and more pieces will require pedaling as we continue with more advanced repertoire. The pedal on the right is called the damper pedal or sustain pedal. Because when the pedal is pressed down, it raises up all dampers off the strings in the piano, therefore allowing all the strings to vibrate. So when this pedal is pressed down, any tone that's played continue after the keys are released. The sound is now sustained. The right foot is often used for the damper pedal. The pedal on the left is called the soft pedal. It gives a softer and lighter tone and it's often used in conjunction with the damper pedal. As you can see, the left foot is used for the soft pedal. It is usually indicated in music by the term una corda, which means one string. This means that the hammer inside the piano will only strike one string instead of three strings. Therefore, the sound is softer and lighter. The pedal in the middle is called the sustenuto pedal. This pedal is the one that is used the least. And like the soft pedal, it's often used with the damper pedal. The left foot is often used for this pedal. A sustenuto pedal sustains only the keys that are held down at the moment the pedal is applied, while other notes can be played without them being sustained as well. For now, we will only study the use of the damper pedal to sustain the sound of the music. On the screen, you will see the sign that shows when the damper pedal is to be used. This simply means to press down the pedal at the beginning of the sign, hold the pedal, then release the pedal at the end of the sign. Always keep your heel on the floor and pedal with the ball of your foot. Use your ankle like a hinge. The sign shown on the screen indicates overlapping pedal. This simply means to connect two sets of pedaling together. The pedal is pressed down, then at the sign in the middle, the pedal comes up and goes down again immediately, so there's no gap in sound. Let's practice this with the following exercise. The pedal goes down at the same time as we play the first interval. One, two, three, four. Hold the pedal for the entire measure. As we get to the second interval, the pedal comes up exactly at the instant the notes come down. 
and immediately press it down again. One, two, three, four. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A common mistake is for the pedal to come up too soon, usually when the hand is released briefly to play the next interval. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As you can hear, this creates a gap in the sound. What we're aiming for here is connecting the first to the second interval and second to the third interval without a break in sound or a hiccup. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As you can see on the screen, this is the piece we play a few lessons back with Alberti bass accompaniment. Here, overlapping pedaling has been added to the music. We are to change the pedal every measure. This means that the pedal goes up and down immediately at the beginning of each measure. Remember, the pedal has to come up at the exact same time as the first note of each measure goes down not before, not after. Listen carefully. There should be no break in sound as you play from measure one to measure two. If there is a gap in sound, then the pedal is being released too soon. Let's play this short piece with the overlapping pedal. <laughs> 